the well looks like it's about to explode. In which it is, oh no. Today, I'm going to be making handmade pasta from scratch for the very first time using an old reliable hand crank pasta machine. Before we get into our pasta, first we're gonna make our tomato sauce because it's gonna take one hour to simmer. And to get started on the sauce, I need to finally chop this onion. But other than that, I got everything else ready. I got the dried herbs here, two tablespoons of olive oil, and three cloves of garlic that we'll be adding on top of the diced tomatoes. It's time to get started on the sauce and it's time to add in the onions. Ooh, that's a lot of onions. Nothing beats the smell of onions being sauteed. <gasps> Time to add these canned tomatoes in. Stirring all of the onions and the tomatoes together along with the juice. Now it's time to add in the dried herbs along with the red crushed pepper. Sorry, red pepper flakes. Now that we have it to a boil, I'm gonna bring this to a low, cover it for a simmer, and let this be for an hour. All right, while we wait for that to simmer, it's time to get started on our handmade pasta. I'm gonna use semolina flour, it came with a recipe in the back, so I will be following this. We're gonna start with opening that up. That's one and a half. It says, on a clean work surface, combine this and salt. We're gonna combine the salt in here. It's not that much salt, but. Okay. Hopefully I don't spill. Okay, we're gonna gather it up. Cool, cool, cool. And then I'll use this to make a hole in the center so that we can combine our eggs, water, and oil. There's one. The well looks like it's about to explode. In which it is, oh no. Oh no. This is what a terrible idea. Hopefully I don't spill. I feel like nothing's happening here. Something happening? <laughs> uh, okay. Kind of recovered. <laughs> okay. Something's happening. Maybe I could have done this in a bowl. However, we do have one solid piece finally, but the bad news is that we have a lot of cracked edges, so we have a quite a ways to go. So let's get to it. Well, I feel like it's getting smoother. <laughs> okay. I don't know how long it's been, but this is as smooth as I can get it. And I don't know how to hide these cracks. So I'm just gonna let it be. Pretty smooth, so I like it. Uh, uh, uh. Time to let this thing rest. Look at his beauty, man. That is amazing. Well, it's time to unwrap it, time to divide it, and time to flatten it. First, on the machine, I'm gonna set this to zero. And... Level 
four. It's beautiful. Salts it like the ocean. And now we add our fresh pasta. Here we go. Give it a stir. Make sure to separate all of it. <gasps> and give the sauce a quick stir again. We're waiting for this to come to a boil again, and I feel like it's almost there. So in the meantime, I'm gonna get my Italian sausage prepped. We're gonna wait for this to cook and then we're gonna assemble in a bit. In the meantime, it's time to clean up. Now it's time to add in the sauce. Oh man, that looks so good. I made all this from scratch. That is pretty good. I can't believe I made this all by hand. Well, with the help of a machine, but I'm looking at this right now and I feel like I could definitely do better the next time. However, for my first time making pasta from scratch, this is... Today's cardio day, so this is perfect. But that's it for me today in this video. Thank you so much for watching and sharing your space with me here at our virtual table. Hit that like and subscribe button and comment down below what your favorite pasta is or what you thought of this video. I'll see y'all in the next one.